Despite countless warnings from law enforcement, cybercrime is now soaring across the U.S., especially here in Nevada. That's according to the FBI's new Internet Crime Report for 2023. It's not all bad news for the Silver State. News 3 Steve Wolford has been talking with the Bureau's top agent here at the Las Vegas office about these eye-opening numbers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and as LaToya mentioned, we've had all these campaigns to raise awareness about cybersecurity in Nevada. But the FBI's new Internet Crime Report suggests we're not getting the message. In fact, cybercrime complaints and financial losses have doubled over the past five years nationally, and Nevada is right at the top of the list. They're thinking it will happen to somebody else and not them. Cybersecurity expert Mac Jackson explaining why cybercrime continues to explode in the U.S. and especially in Nevada. According to the FBI's latest Internet Crime Report, the number of complaints and financial losses doubled from 2019 to 2023 to nearly 900,000 and a staggering $12.5 billion. Yeah, so that's the irony, right? Spencer Evans, the special agent in charge of the Las Vegas FBI office, warns against cybercrime complacency. That everybody says it's not going to happen to you, and yet the numbers show that the number of victims every year just continue to go up and up. Nevada now ranks second in the nation for cybercrime losses per capita and third in the nation in complaints per capita. Among the leading types of cybercrime, extortion, when hackers gain control of private data. Among the victims in 2023, the Clark County School District. So what they did with the Clark County School District, they actually wanted the school district to pay a ransom fee. When the school district initially said, no, we're not going to pay it, then the hackers decided, well, let's go after the parents. Critical to fighting back is reporting a cybercrime quickly. People that called within the first 48 hours, we had a greater than 70% chance of recovering their money. So that timely reporting is absolutely critical if there's something that we can do on our side to track back the proceeds so that they don't become ill-gotten gains of bad guys. And because of the cooperation among law enforcement agencies, that rate is even higher in Nevada. So we do a really good job of getting people their money back if, and this is the big if, they report it to us very quickly. Also important, overcoming the stigma of falling for an online scam. Don't be ashamed, report it. A good place to start is the Federal Internet Crime Complaint Center, IC3. We'll post a link to it from this story on our website, news3lv.com. Back to you. All right, some good information. Thank you so much, Steve.